Hi and welcome back to Pi Simple GUI, the complete course. We're up to lesson five. The topic of this lesson is the basic elements. And this is part one. <laughs> there are going to be a few of these uh, because we have a few elements to go through here. Um, it's, this is the complete list of elements and uh, there's text, input, checkbox, radio, list box, there's tons, right? So we're starting off with text uh, and with that we will learn uh, that there are parameters that are shared amongst the elements. Let's look at our documentation here and uh, You'll find the section on elements in the table of contents. It lists all of them. And there is a section here at the beginning of it that talks about the common element parameters. So uh, what I'm going through is documented already, but let's just whip through it. So when you make a call, oh, um, let's first back up this back a second here and talk about look and feel since we're on the topic of text. Um, there are a number of look and feel options to choose from. You can call list of look and feel values to find out uh, what you can put in as input to the change look and feel to call, look and feel call. I often choose the green tan. Um, there are many of them here. Some of them suck. Uh, one of them, Topanga, was uh, submitted by a user, and it's an it's an excellent color. Uh, in fact, why don't we use that one here in our example? Uh, so let's look at uh, go through real quickly here the construction of a PySimple GUI. Uh, program we have our layout right we have uh, the window creation and then we have our read or our event loop uh, so doing the layout with text here we go we have the, the text that you're going to display size this field is usually characters by rows so um, in some instances, it's pixels in one or both. For text, it's characters by rows. Auto size text says whether or not you shrink the size of the element to fit the text. Click submit is you can click on text and it will generate, uh, it'll generate an event and kick you out of the read. If you click on the text and this is set, Relief, there are relief values. Um, let's use uh, raised for this one. Uh, and you'll get an idea of what those are. Font, there's a whole topic here. So fonts can be specified in multiple ways. There are two ways. One is a font string. So let's say we want to use courier and then you use the the size of the font. I've actually pulled up. I wrote a little um, wrote a little font previewer here for us. And what this does is it has listed all of the fonts that Tkinter says are available. And the point being, there are many. The problem is there are many on every system. So this is Linux and there are many here and they don't match <laughs> um, you'll see like there's a ton of these nodo fonts on linux that are not on windows there's nothing listed like that uh, the good news is that that you won't crash the system by putting in values that are illegal. Uh, so you'll see me often say any for a font when I don't care, I want to use the system default and I just want uh, to set the size. So I'll say any 20. 
and that just use means use whatever the default is and there are some fonts like courier and helvetica LV, uh, that it tries to uh, estimate to from the current system font to whatever that should look like so it will try to pick the best match for courier that works for Helvetica, uh, Courier, uh, Verdana is one. So, and I think there's a Sans for Sans Serif on Linux. There is at least. Um, so th they can come uh, in two forms. There's a string which we're playing with here. Uh, and with a string you have size and you can also say whether or not it's bold or italics as the third word. Um, you can read more in the documentation about it. I tried to cover it as best I could. You can also uh, specify it in a tuple uh, and for, for fonts that have three words for the name you have to list it as a tuple all right let's move on uh, text color let's talk about colors in PySimple GUI you can list the name which uh, Tkinter has come up with qu quite a long list of names for you to choose from uh, I support them all they just pass through there is a several demo programs that will show you the colors and uh, the names uh, this is one of them <clears throat> takes a long time to paint that many buttons so here are a bunch of the names that are available the on buttons if you click it it shows a white and a black on that uh, on that color. I'll take a, a moment here to show you tool tips. Um, you notice that as I hover over these a little tool tip pops up and we will uh, see tool tips on text. Uh, so colors uh, you can have the name. The other thing you can have is a hex RGB. So RGB that should come out red when we we view our uh, text here in a moment. Um, oops, I'm uh, on the wrong wrong program there. So it, here's our text. Um, we can set the background color for the text, the justification left, right, and center, padding. Let me pull up the full set of widgets for padding so the padding is how much room in pixels between the uh, the widgets in the X direction and in the Y direction and they break down uh, further than just X and Y so uh, if we're wanting to put padding so it normally is 5-3 Let's say you wanted more padding on the left in, in this particular case, then you can break this five apart into two. So it's normally five, five. When it's five, three, it's actually five, five, three, three. Because it's uh, the amount of space on the left, amount of space on the right, up and down. And so I can leave more room over here. Let's say I need 50 pixels on this side and then five pixels on the other side. Uh, key, we've talked about some. We will see it many times. Tool tips we just talked about. So let's uh, make our window. Uh, We're going to do a layout with this layout. 
and let's just do a normal uh, a normal read event values. Some of you may uh, remember that that used to be buttons values, and um, as as PySimple GUI evolved, some of these names and stuff have evolved as well because not only do buttons get returned, but there's a whole host of other events that come back. Um, let's see if this is going to work for us. Oh, we got the look and feel. Hang on. I missed a zero here. Uh, okay, so here's our text. Uh, remember, we're, we have this funky Topanga. <laughs> Uh, color scheme going. Um, I hope you can see, but this is raised. Um, let me let me change back out of this so you can see it. Uh, it's raised. Uh, it's red. It's courier, and it's twenty. Uh, clicking it doesn't do anything at this time, uh, and we don't have a tooltip. So let's modify this. One thing I want to do for the window is let's keep it on top just so the debugger doesn't get in the way. Um, and what were we going to do? We were going to put a tool tip for one. Let's set the background color to yellow. Uh, we've seen the raised relief. Let's try a different relief. Let's try a uh, ridge. Uh, and let's try click submit set to true this time. Uh, and I think that should be good. So this is our text again, and it's yellow. I can't really tell what groove or ridge did for us on the relief. If we click it, uh, it exited. Let's run it again. Yeah. So, so the. Uh, Click submits. Let's let's print what happens. Uh, event. When that happens, when we print, it uh, it printed nothing. So that's because our key is none. So let's set our key to some value, and uh, instead of print, let's do a pop up. So when we click our text, we get a pop-up that has our key as the event that came back. And I think that's all we can do here in this uh, first element covered. Thank you for watching.